Good morning, dear listeners. Welcome to Novaturas Investor Rela Relations Conference. I'm Paulus from NASDAQ Vilnius, and I'll be moderating today's event. We will start with a presentation from the management, which will be followed by the Q&A session. Please be informed that this webinar is being recorded and will be available for a rewatch on NASDAQ Baltic YouTube channel. As always, I encourage every one of you to share your questions in the Q&A se section at the bottom of your screen. And you can submit them either anonymously or with your name. With that said, I'm pleased to introduce today's presenters, the Chief Executive Officer Vitaly Rakovsky and Chief Financial Officer Vigantas Reifanas. As well, we are pleased to be joined by the Chairman of the Board, Mr. Gediminas Almontas. Dear guests, please, the floor is yours and good luck. Thank you very much. So good morning, dear investors. It is a, a huge pleasure to have, have all of you here. And today we're going to overview our Q2 uh, financial performance uh, and also observe H1 uh, results. I would like to begin uh, my presentation with uh, announcing uh, significant uh, revenue and uh, profitability improvements of Novaturas. Uh, so during Q2, our uh, EBITDA reached uh, 3.2 million and our net profit reached uh, almost 2.5 million. As a result, for the uh, full half-year results, we are approaching EBITDA of close to 6 million and net profit close to 5 million. With such exceptional profitability results, we already beat it our uh, full financial year EBITDA guideline, which was announced previously. And the higher end of that guideline uh, was uh, 6 million. And we are already 30% above uh, full financial year of 2019, which was a pre-pandemic year. And the EBITDA at that time for the full financial year was uh, 4.3 million. Um, such a good performance was first of all led by a strong tra travel demand and was well supported by a few things. So first of all is uh, uh, high early booking sales. Uh, secondly, well diversified uh, destination mix. Uh, thirdly, uh, well managed fuel price fluctuation risk. And last but not least, increased uh, customer service quality. Uh, during the presentation, I will touch uh, those uh, driving factors in a bit uh, deeper way. Uh, sales profit uh, per pax also increased considerably from 14 euros per pax to almost uh, 70 euros per pax during Q2 this year. Load factor was uh, also good of 95% and it was on expected uh, levels. Uh, Sales-wise, uh, sales remained flat and uh, reached uh, 63 million. Uh, as a result, uh, during first half of the year, um, our revenue is increasing by uh, 12% and reached uh, 103 million. Uh, the sales uh, being flat were uh, driven by 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 few reasons. So first of all, our uh, uh, volumes uh, slightly and temporarily uh, decreased uh, by roughly 6.5%. Meanwhile, our average package price uh, increased by 8%. Volume decrease was mainly driven from uh, Turkey destination, which is a destination of competition at the moment with a uh, very high supply of seats. And uh, uh, consequently, it drives uh, much lower profitabilities. So uh, seed supply for Turkey destination during this year increased by uh, almost 30% compared to the pre-pandemic year. Uh, taking a deeper view on performance by the markets, we can observe that uh, volumes decreased in the Lithuanian market and Latvian market. Meanwhile, in Estonian market, volumes remained relatively flat. Uh, from destination's point of view, the main decrease is coming from, as I previously said, the Turkey market uh, and on top of that uh, from Greek islands. Uh, 
In Greek islands, our volumes uh, went down uh, this year uh, due to a few reasons. So first of all, we uh, did have uh, some challenges with the quality of services in the destination. And on top of that, uh, we needed some improvements with our hotel selection. Uh, th those things were uh, properly done during the during this year and uh, going forward we expect to regain uh, the lost volumes and even uh, increase them uh, next year uh, touching the Turkey destination so as i said before this is the destination which this year is ex experiencing huge over uh, oversupply which uh, basically leads us to quite low prices and uh, as a result leads to much lower profitabilities. Uh, however, mm, the strong point of Novaturus is the well diversified destination mix and our mm, destinations which we were, we were early adopting in the market or even launching them first in the market, uh, the trending destinations which is the Montenegro and Tunisia uh, in those destinations, we grew by uh, 6.5 uh, thousand uh, during the first half of this year, and it helped uh, quite a lot to offset the decreased uh, volumes in Turkey and in Greece. So we can clearly say that the destination diversification uh, pays off, as uh, actually the profitability levels in those trending destinations are much, much better compared to, the, for example, Antalya. A uh, few words about the competitive environment. Uh, so this year we saw a new tour operator from uh, Turkey, Annex, entering the market in June this year. Uh, and they started operations with flights to Turkey only. On the other hand, we're observing that uh, they're adjusting their volumes. So during Q2 and Q3, you already saw a decrease of 14% from their initial plans. And on top of that, um, we observe that another newcomer who entered the market uh, last year is also adjusting uh, its uh, initial seat supply. And during Q3, the seat supply to Turkish destination decreased even by uh, 50%. So these few illustrations clearly, uh, clearly indicate that the competition is tough and uh, it's not easy for new market entrances uh, to gain the market share. In, in the Baltic markets. Uh, I must admit, recent uh, market entrances indeed disrupt the market and they require uh, changes. Meanwhile, uh, Novotoros managed to keep market leader position in the Baltic countries. Uh, taking a deeper view on uh, H1 uh, destination performance, we can see the same tendency as we observed in Q2 that our share of other destinations, meaning excluding the mainstream destinations, which is Turkey, Egypt, Greece, and Greek islands, and Canary Islands. So this year is increasing. Last year it was 20%. Meanwhile, this year we are approaching to 30%. Uh, on top of that, we do invest a lot into the early booking sales, and we are aiming to be typically whether the first or among the first to introduce early bookings in the market as typically it allows us to decrease the last minute sales which are usually less profitable due to the higher seat fulfillment competition and you as you can see uh, we did uh, did it well this year uh, when the share of uh, sales booked more than three months ahead increased from 20 percent to 24 percent this year on top of that, uh, this year we already sold out 80%, more than 80% of our current full year seed supplies. And on top of that, um, we are stepping into the winter season, which starts in November, with twice as high early bookings uh, compared to the same period uh, last year. And we believe that this is a huge advantage uh, for us as uh, at the moment, we are also experiencing uh, and observing a huge uh, oversupply to, to Egypt uh, market, uh, which probably should indicate that the competition there would be uh, high and the burden and, uh, for profitability would be also high. Uh, however, for that, we prepared already very well in advance. And when we uh, launched our winter uh, program, we diversified a lot. 
we introduced uh, a new destination, which is Jordan, which is a bit of an alternative for Egypt market. Uh, on top of that, we launched a new skiing destination, which is Austria. And in addition to that, we extended our long haul destinations a lot by approximately 50%. So at the moment, I, I can confidently say that uh, majority of our profits in winter destination is generated from non-Egypt um, destination. Uh, also this year, since uh, January, um, we started to collect customer uh, feedback on our services. And uh, when in the beginning of the year, our net promoter score was uh, closer to 35%, uh, in end of uh, June, it increased almost to 60%. In all key destinations, which is Montenegro, Turkey, Crete, Madeira, Tunisia, a net promoter score, score is everywhere well above at the moment uh, 50%, which we believe is a, a very good achievement and it is uh, above the market benchmarks. Uh, such good uh, performance uh, was achieved by by few actions. So first of all, we improved our flight punctuality a lot, and we also uh, decreased our free hour delays. On top of that, we in, invested a lot of our time on updating the hotel selection uh, during this season by removing non-performing hotels and uh, hotels with uh, relatively negative customer feedback. Uh, on top, adding uh, trendy hotels with, with, with good feedback. And last but not least, we invested, uh, invested in the quality of our services in the destinations uh, by changing uh, personnel and by giving uh, needed uh, trainings for our representatives abroad. A few words about the um, aviation. So, as I said before, it's one of the quality improvement factors uh, this year uh, that our flight punctuality improved. Uh, as you might know, last year we experienced a lot of challenges with our aviation and our punctuality performance um, was not as good as we wanted, especially in Latvian market and Estonian ma market. As a result, our proactive actions with aviation suppliers allowed us uh, to improve uh, on-time performance and free hour delays. So we did a lot of changes uh, by first of all, uh, changing the, uh, the plane to the new generation plane in uh, Estonian market. Um, the reliability of this plane is, is, is much higher. Uh, it is newer. Um, helped us to, to improve the punctuality uh, in, in, in Estonian market. On top of that, we diversified our uh, aviation suppliers in Latvian market, where we extended our cooperation with uh, Air Baltic. On top of that, we added to the Turkey destination uh, Turkish airline flights, which are also considered to be of a higher quality uh, product, all, all, all combined allowed us to improve uh, on-time performance with uh, 30 minutes accuracy from 74% to 83%. On contrary, number of flights with three or more hours delay decreased uh, more than three times. Uh, when last year during H1, we had almost 40 flights with such delays this year, it's only 12. Uh, this, this first half of the year, we are growing 12%, as I said before. Meanwhile, our own sales are increasing by 18%. Uh, consequently, our own sales share during Q2 increased by 1%. Uh, meanwhile, uh, during H1, it increased even by 2%. So from 29% to 31% own sales share. Uh, following such growth, our effective commission rate was also down uh, to 5.2%. Uh, Meanwhile, last year it was uh, closer to 5.5%. And the sales uh, distribution between the market varies. So uh, in Latin and Estonian market, our own sales are closer to 41%. Meanwhile, in Lithuanian market, it is uh, twice lower, so closer to 
uh, such structure uh, clearly indicates uh, open opportunities for the growth of bond sales, uh, which we, I believe, addressed well in, uh, during the uh, first half of this year. Uh, so in Lithuanian market, our own sales increased by 60%. Uh, meanwhile, in Latvia and uh, Estonia, we recorded on sales growth of 30%. Uh, percent. Uh, such growth was uh, driven by a few things. So first of all, by increasing the efficiency of our uh, sales uh, personnel, by introducing the customer service uh, standard in sales process, and on top of that, uh, utilizing uh, customer relationship management software, newly adopted software uh, in our company. On top of that, we were increasing our spendings in marketing, which helped us to generate more leads for our own sales. In addition to that, uh, Novatoras in e-commerce area remains the firm leader with web traffic share in all Baltic countries being close to 50%. On top of that, we still believe that there is a huge growth potential in e-commerce. And that's why in the last 12 months, we were investing heavily in our development of a new uh, web page. So we started uh, at some point of time in summer last year. This year, we are already live with the new web page, which was lost, uh, launched in uh, August. It should enable our customers to plan, compare, and choose ultimately to buy travel packages quicker and in a more convenient way. So we updated the performance of our web page. Uh, change the designs, uh, user experience, and customer journey uh, during the sales process. Going forward, we plan to further uh, invest into our uh, web page, and we expect um, a huge growth potential there. Our expenses, uh, operating expenses, uh, Excluding the commissions increased by 30% this year during Q2, uh, roughly by 630,000. However, majority of that uh, increase is related to accruals. 355,000 uh, was uh, related to stuff related accruals, which previously used to be accounted at the end of the year. Uh, additionally, the remaining growth of uh, operating expenses is attributable to the annual salary review process. And uh, last but not least, our non-personnel related expenses increased by roughly 5%. And mainly, it is related to our more active uh, actions related to the brand awareness activities, where we join various initiatives. Uh, by promoting our, our whether existing destinations or new destinations and also we slightly increased our spendings in uh, tv channels headcount uh, increased only by 2.5 percent uh, during h1 this year and i would like to end up my uh, my part of the presentation by giving you a forward-looking statement uh, for the full year of uh, year 23 so we are not changing our annual volume and annual revenue guideline. So it remains flat versus the initially communicated guideline. However, we are considerably improving our guideline for annual EBITDA and net profit. So newly updated guideline for EBITDA is from 6 million to 8 million and net profit uh, guideline is from 4 to 6 million. On top of that, our main focus is going forward would be maintaining the leading position in the market, also further diversifying the destinations, which we uh, can clearly see are uh, helping us to uh, increase profitabilities. We would be further focusing on dig digitalization of our services, including a web page. We would be trying to capture uh, the growth potential which exists in our own sales channels. We would be further improving customer experience and also investing into the early bookings. Uh, at this stage, I would like to pass a word to our newly elected uh, chairman of the board, Gediminas Almantas, who would present the board priorities. Gediminas, the floor is yours. Right. Good morning uh, from my side. Uh, uh, the board started its uh, term uh, pretty recently. Um, 
it was the end of June uh, uh, this year, and uh, we understand our short mandate of two years. Uh, that means that we started very actively with uh, with our activities. Um, the key focus of of the uh, new board uh, for the end of this year is a review of the strategy. And uh, I mean, a review here not really a new strategy. The organization has a, a well established strategy, but we would like to adjust it to a, a new uh, trends uh, around the industry and uh, and put uh, quite a strong ambition on that. So um, as a first priority, we see the overall uh, governance excellence of the board with the focus on uh, people, um, uh, organization, culture, and efficiency uh, overall. So we're going to also review the, stru the structure of the organization and, 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 uh, and uh, uh, put some elements for the, for the additional motivation of the staff. Customer centricity is our uh, second priority. And with this, I mean customers as a, uh, uh, our partners uh, and also the end customers. So uh, and the CEO mentioned already that uh, there is a process of collecting the data of the customer satisfaction. So uh, we're really going to use those data to, to improve that. And, and with that, we're going to go to also new products, uh, uh, diversification of the destinations. Um, we'll look also into possibility of the new services. So uh, uh, going also from, from the uh, very traditional markets of the organization to, to uh, new potential. Um, digitalization as a priority goes uh, um, beyond the um, web page, as also mentioned by the CEO. So that is kind of uh, organizational part of the organizational culture uh, that would allow us to use the data that we collect and transform it into the strategic decisions uh, delivering the, the value for the shareholders. Um, so uh, mainly those are the elements uh, that we're going to look uh, in um, adjusting the, the organizational uh, strategy. And uh, uh, the autumn going to be very active uh, with this one. So we believe that uh, uh, in the middle of autumn, we're going to also, we, we already going to have our clear uh, vision on, on the next steps and the implementation. Those are the key messages from, from the board. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we are finishing our presentation and we can jump to the Q&A. Thank you for the comprehensive uh, presentation. Now we will proceed with the questions. Before that, I would like to remind that you can submit the questions in the question box uh, in the bottom of your screen. So uh, the first question is, could you please share your outlook on the tourism sector in Lithuania? Yeah, so actually as uh, you know, our exposure to Lithuanian uh, and Lithuanian leisure market or tourism sector is quite low, I, I would say close to nil. So we don't feel very competent to observe ob 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 uh, this market. Thank you for the answer. Next question is, what data Novatura is used to measure its market share? Could you name some uh, data sources? Uh, so uh, uh, we look on market share from, I would say, three different perspectives. So first of all, on an operational level, uh, on a weekly, uh, daily, or even monthly basis, we look on seed supply. And that data is available through the public sources, through the web pages of uh, our tour operators, where we can see the number of flights. We uh, know what uh, planes uh, are used with uh, number of seats there. So this is one measure, which is more operational, however, maybe not as accurate as, 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 as it should be. Another measure is the passengers served. You know, uh, th 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 this data is uh, typically observed by, uh, let's say, various sources from uh, uh, some of the airports, uh, such data exists, from some of the destinations, uh, such data exists, or it is available in the financial statements of, of, of uh, other competitors. And uh, the last, uh, the third uh, measure is, which we believe is the most accurate, which is the revenue. So. 
Uh, this data can be checked in the financial statements of the competitors. However, it, as, uh, it is available only once a year. So we are the only tour operator in the market who is uh, uh, announcing uh, financial results on a monthly basis or others only on an annual basis. Thank you for the answer. Uh, one more question has arrived. If any, uh, what are the expected losses from the wildfires in Greece? Both are minor, uh, I would say so. So we did have some temporarily effects uh, when, when, when those fires started. Uh, so I would say they're insignificant. Uh, and on top of that, uh, we did manage these risks uh, quite well, uh, I believe, by, by relocating people uh, from those uh, affected areas. And also the feedback we receive from the customers and also from our agencies is, is, is very positive. Uh, where we are mentioned as uh, the tour operator who managed uh, the communication and the whole process is the best mm, compared to the, all, all the competitors and all the market. And on top of that, I would say that uh, as it was a temporary effect, we also noticed the increase in, increase in sales in other destinations. So basically, customers were switching from uh, Greek, Greek islands to uh, primarily Bulgarian market, uh, Bulgarian destination and, and others. Thank you for the answer. Another question has arrived. Could you please provide some guidance on the dividends next year? Could we expect 70 to 80% payout ratio from this year profits? So we are not changing our uh, dividend policies. It's, it's, it's still active and uh, that should be as a reference for, 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 for guideline. It is uh, still subject to, maybe I say it's still, still subject to the, um, to the decisions by, by, by the board and uh, to a certain uh, how to say decision needs needs to be uh, obtained from our lenders however as i said before such a strong uh, strong performance uh, clearly indicates that our results are improving and the, 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 there is uh, there is clear in, in, in the expectation for for dividends right if i can add here also from the board as mentioned by ceo uh, we um, see the good trends in the industry uh, uh, overall in the aviation sector and the tourism sector so um, uh, definitely the board will do all the best uh, to follow the guidelines for the dividends and and to meet the, the expectations of the shareholders thank you for the answer uh, currently, we are waiting for more questions. If you have some, please do not hesitate. But if you'll think of any additional ones, uh, you can always reach out to Novatura's Investor Relations uh, and, and uh, ask the question afterwards. So it looks like no additional questions are coming in. So, as all of the questions are answered, on behalf of Novaturas and Asdek Vilnius, thank you everyone. It was a pleasure uh, being with you today. The recording of the presentation will be available in the company's website and Nasdaq Baltic YouTube channel. Gentlemen, Thank you for the very informative conference. Have a great day and goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You.